Sometimes what seems to be simple isn't. Making a 22 caliber long rifle autoloader fire 17 HMR ammunition should be easy, right? It wasn't, as you're about to see. The 17 HMR is a great varmint and small game cartridge, but up to now it's mainly been a bolt action cartridge. Why can't you just modify a 22 autoloader to shoot it? It takes a lot more engineering than that. That's right. Welcome back to Gallery of Guns. With us today is Ashley Honey of Shotgun News. So, what did Savage have to do to make the 17 HMR work in an autoloader? 22 long rifle autoloaders use inertia to keep the bolt closed long enough for pressure inside the cartridge case to drop enough for safe extraction and ejection. It's called straight blowback and is fine for the pressure levels the 22 generates. The 17 is a lot more powerful and produces higher pressures for a longer time. Using straight blowback operation would lead to blown out cartridge cases, a very dangerous condition. Uh, you could make the bolt itself heavier, but that would lead to sluggish operation in jams. So what's the solution? Savage went to a locked breech system, which is pretty rare on rimfire cartridges. And tell us how that works. A locking lug extends from the bolt into a recess in the top of the receiver. It holds the bolt forward during the period of high pressure. When the pressure has decreased, a cam surface then pulls the lug out of the recess, allowing the bolt to travel rearward. Eject the spent cartridge case and a strip fresh round from the magazine on the return stroke. As the bolt returns to battery, the lug is cammed back up into engagement with the receiver and you're ready to fire again. So really, it's like a miniature centerfire rifle. You could look at it that way. It lets you shoot 17 HMR ammo safely and reliably. So what are some of the other features? The most significant is the Savage Accu Trigger. For years, it was thought triggers had to be heavy to be safe. Okay. Uh, Savage developed the Accu Trigger so shooters could have a light, adjustable trigger that would still prevent firing if the rifle were dropped. You can see that there's a lever inside the trigger blade. The trigger can't be pulled until the lightweight lever is depressed. That lets you adjust the trigger for a light pull with no worry of the gun discharging if dropped. Right. Well, it's hard to think of a hunting sport that would benefit from a light trigger more than varmint shooting. The other Savage innovation that gives its rifles gilt edge accuracy is the way the barrels are installed. For more than 50 years, Savage has assembled its barrels with a lock nut. The barrel is threaded into the receiver until it contacts a headspace gauge. At that point, a lock nut is tightened onto the secure barrel and receiver. That means every Savage barrel has the same minimum headspace, and that means superb accuracy. The injection molded stock helps that too. A wood stock is strictly for enthusiasts these days. The advantages of an injection molded stock are just too great. It's light in weight, resistant to scratches and dents, and most importantly, it'll never warp, regardless of how wet it might get. The A17 stock has attractive groove panels that help you get a secure grip and a solid rubber recoil pad at the butt. Now, I see even the magazine is polymer. It is. It's a 10-round detachable rotary magazine, and it gives you that much capacity while remaining flush with the underside of the forend. Uh, just to press the catch at its front to drop it out for loading. And no iron sights on this one. Varmint shooting is not an activity for iron sights, so the A17 comes drilled and tapped with supplied scope bases. Very good. You could put a very big scope on it if you wanted, because it's really light. It's less than five and a half pounds, even with the 22 inch barrel. That's gonna feel pretty good after a long day plowing through the snow in pursuit of a fox, for example. The A17 gives you accuracy, firepower, and range in a package that's lightweight and tough in any weather. Um, how can you go wrong with that? You really can't. Thank you so much for joining us, Ashley. Thanks. If the Savage A17 sounds like your recipe for varminting success, go to galleryofguns.com and select the Gun Genie. Just enter your zip code and the Gun Genie will display a list of Gallery of Guns affiliated dealers in your area with the prices they'll ask for your new gun. Order with a major credit card and you can be shooting your choice within just a few days.